Good morning. You are welcome to Health Guide. My name is Dr. Isa Abdumujib. We are still discussing premenstrual syndrome. Those feeling that comes your way before your menses blood flow commence. So like we have said in our last episode, that most women have at least one of some of the symptoms we'll be looking at today. So symptoms of the premenstrual uh, process. But not same in all women. That means if you have a headache, does not mean that the other woman will have a headache. So whatever symptoms you are going through, don't generalize it because that's one of the things that's coming in our society. Where most of our local people or um, our mothers become doctors and generalize the, what they went through and tell their, their younger ones that they're going to go through the same thing. It is not usually like that because the body configuration differs. It can change as you grow older. So, for example, some people start and they don't usually have any pain. There are no symptoms at all. But as they grow older, it is still start coming and become devastating. While some started with the very terrible symptoms of a premenstrual process, but as they grow older, it disappears. Let me also use this opportunity to clear a myth that is common in our society. For those that have it, they said, okay, go and get married. By the time you start having children, that the premenstrual syndrome will disappear. It's not true. In fact, it's not even correct. Because what is, what is actually the basis for premenstrual syndrome is not about having children. It's not about being pregnant. So it's only that during the pregnancy, it is stopped. But by the time you deliver the baby and you're back to your normal self, the premenstrual syndrome may still resume or even resume even harder than before. So you must understand this. So don't get deceived. And this has led a lot of ladies to rush into marriage and eventually they want to rush out of the marriage because eventually they made a mistake in their choice all in the name thinking that when they start getting pregnant or get married, the issue of premenstrual syndrome will disappear because the one they went through is really, you know, it's usually excruciating and very disturbing. So again, you must be very sick to ask yourself because some people say that, oh, me, I don't have premenstrual syndrome. That's not true. There's no woman that will not have some changes because before your blood can flow, there's a lot of chemical changes and hormonal adjustment in your body system. So you can ask yourself the following questions and then if the answer is yes, that means you actually have premenstrual syndrome. Now, do you have changes that affect your daily life before your menses start to flow? If it's yes, then that's premenstrual syndrome. Or do you have any trouble to cope with your activities, either with your family or friends on your work? If at all you have some disturbance, maybe loss of concentration and things like that, that means that you have premenstrual syndrome. So if you have issues of being having being angry, an outburst of anger, or maybe your inability to concentrate, do you think that is normal? No, and that's not your usual self. That means that you have premenstrual syndrome. So if you have yes to some of these questions, that confirms you that you have a premenstrual syndrome. So now let's go like this. How do you determine it? So you need to start to monitor yourself at least five days before your menses for three months. Get that done regularly and then you meet your medical doctor, a gynecologist, who will help you to uh, put two, those things together. If you have it in, in three months consecutively, that means you have premenstrual syndrome. So do whatever you feel is what you tell the doctor and that will be recorded against your name. Otherwise, you, you can check or follow us in our next episode of this discussion where we'll be looking at the physical symptoms, we'll be looking at the emotional symptoms and behavioral symptoms and you'll be able to pick out all any of your own if you have at all. Until we come your way again, you can reach us on 0802 Thank you for listening. You can send your question on WhatsApp handle.